This video is sponsored by Dello Heavy Duty Lubricants from Chevron. Visit chevronlubricants.com to learn more. Look, I know this is difficult, but you'll still be with me on the truck. Come on, we both know giving you a retread will be good for both of us. I'm just rotating you to the trailer position. We can still be together. Tire management begins with selecting the right tire for a specific application, moves on to getting the most out of that tire, and ends with replacing that tire at the right time. When it comes to choosing the right tires, you'll likely start by considering the effect of the tires on your fuel economy, which might outweigh tread wear considerations you might have. Tires that are SmartWay verified can be a good place to start when looking for your tire match made in heaven. This means these tires meet EPA limits for low rolling resistance and can also help reduce fuel consumption as compared to non-smartweight tires, particularly in long haul operations. The casing quality will tell you how a tire will hold up on the road and the value the tire might have for a second or third life in retreading. Choosing a new tire shouldn't be a blind date. Ew. Be sure to review the tire manufacturer's warranty and casing allowance. To get the most out of your tires, start thinking about those three little words time to rotate. It's recommended you give them a rotation when they are about 50% worn or even earlier if they show signs of irregular wear. Changing the direction of rotation can even out heel toe wear on the shoulders of drive tires and erratic wear on the shoulders of trailer tires. Steer tires are normally rotated side to side which changes the direction of rotation and helps even out wear. At a 3 to 4 30 seconds of an inch difference in tread depth between the drive axle tires, a cross rotation would be recommended to even out the wear and increase tire life before removal. Think your tire relationship might be on the rocks? When it comes to deciding when it's time to replace your tires, follow the regulations. The Department of Transportation says that the tread depth for any tire on the front wheels of a bus, truck, or truck tractor must be at least 4 30 seconds of an inch when measured at any point on a major tread groove. All other tires on the vehicle must have a tread depth of at least 2 30 seconds of an inch when measured at any point on a major tread groove. If any measurements are at or below these depth requirements in any part of the tread, the tire should be removed from service immediately. Some fleets will pull steer and drive position tires early to help maintain traction and rotate them back to the trailer to run out the remaining tread life. If your fleet's application tends to experience penetrations from nails or other road debris, then it's good practice to pull the tires early and retread them to help preserve the casing integrity. Tires are a major investment for any size fleet, and having a tire management and maintenance program will enable you to get the most out of your investment. You want them spinning head over heels over and over again out on the road. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.